Police arrest a military policeman for the murder of his girlfriend. This heartbreaking story chronicles the life and tragic death of Samira Watkins, a vibrant young woman who suffered abuse at the hands of her boyfriend, Zachary. This story is about love gone bad, domestic violence that turned deadly, and the terrible effects abuse has on families, friends, and communities. Samira Watkins was a smart, friendly young woman who had a bright future ahead of her. She grew up in a close-knit family and was known for having a big smile, making people laugh, and being kind. Samira, who was only 25, had hopes and dreams like every other young girl her age. Working in healthcare, which gave her a sense of meaning and fulfillment, let her follow her dream of helping other people. Even though she was successful and loved everyone around her, there was one part of her life that no one knew about, her negative relationship with Zachary. The beginning of her relationship with Zachary was like many others. Quickly, it was full of potential and passion. Zachary made Samira think she had found the love of her life. He was charming and charismatic, and he knew how to make her fall in love with him. Family and friends say that Samira lit up when she talked about him at first. But soon, that glow would give way to fear, worry, and finally hopelessness. People often say that love is blind, and in Samira's case, it was awful that that was true. When they were first dating, Zachary seemed like the ideal partner. That being said, as the months went by, small but clear signs showed that something was very wrong. The love Zachary had for her turned possessive and demanding. What began as a concern for her safety, needing to always know where she was and wanting to spend all of their time together, evolved quickly into smothering control. Samira's friends noticed that she was pulling away from them and stopping the social activities that used to make her happy. Zachary tried to make her believe that he was the only person who really cared about her and told her she shouldn't hang out with her friends and family. Things got worse between Zachary and Samira when they weren't around. It became normal to use emotional trickery every day. He was always criticizing Samira, which made her feel like she wasn't attractive enough and needed his approval. Friends later said that Samira started to question herself and lost the bubbly personality she used to have. She became a shadow of the person she used to be. Despite the severity of Zachary's mental abuse of Samira, the level of danger escalated as the fighting intensified. She was shocked the first time Zachary hit her. It never occurred to her that the man she loved could be so violent. However, Samira, like many other women who have experienced domestic abuse, found herself trapped in a cycle of guilt, shame, and fear. Zachary expressed regret for his actions and pledged to never repeat them, citing his stress. Because Samira wanted to believe in the man she loved, she let him off the hook. But they only said sorry for a short time. Soon, the fighting became normal in their relationship. Over the next year, Zachary hurt Samira more and more physically. Still, she didn't tell anyone about the abuse because she was afraid of what would happen if she left him. The bruises on her body got harder to hide. Like many other victims, she found herself torn between love and fear. She wanted him to change, but she was afraid that he would kill her if she tried to run away. Though Samira's family and close friends knew something was very wrong, it was simple to miss from the outside, as it is with many cases of domestic abuse. Samira gave reasons for her absences and the bruises she got from time to time, saying they were just mistakes. Zachary, who was always adept at making people feel adept, kept up appearances around Samira's family and friends, which made it difficult for them to think how horrible things were going behind closed doors. Even though Samira didn't say anything, she was still pleading for help. One close friend was the one who heard about Zachary's temper tantrums and physical attacks. Samira wasn't ready to leave, even though her friend told her to. She feared the potential actions of Zachary, the lack of credibility, and most importantly, the repercussions of living with him for an extended period. Many victims of domestic abuse feel trapped by their fears, which is a sad fact. 
people often cut them off from those who can help, telling them they can't leave or that the abuse is their fault. Things were the same for Samira. A terrifying web of control, fear, and dependence ensnared her. The worst fight between Samira and Zachary happened the night she died. Later, people in the apartment complex said they heard yelling and the sounds of a fight. It was too late when the cops showed up. The flat was empty when police arrived. The man Samira Watkins once loved had brutally murdered her. Zachary quickly and carefully left the crime scene, resulting in a search that lasted several days. However, the delay in justice would not last forever. In the end, they caught Zachary and charged him with killing Samira Watkins. His history of abusing women, the fact that Samira had hidden bruises from everyone, and the heartbreaking fact that she had feared this very outcome were all strong evidence against him. People in Samira Watkins' neighborhood were shocked when she died. Samira Watkins' family and those who assisted victims of domestic abuse united in mourning her passing, ensuring her story would live on. Her death is a sad reminder of how dangerous domestic abuse can be. All too often, people fail to recognize this problem until it's too late. Since her death, Samira's family has become strong supporters of preventing domestic abuse. They work hard to educate others about the signs of violent relationships and the help available to those in need. They hope that telling Samira's story will keep others from going through the same thing. The terrible events that befell Samira Watkins should never have occurred. Domestic violence can affect anyone, regardless of their identity or background. It took years of abuse, manipulation, and control for Zachary to do what he did, and it killed Samira. However, Samira's legacy endures through her efforts to shield other women from partner abuse. There is help available for people in bad relationships, whether they are you or someone you know. Talk to shelters, hotlines, or family and friends you know in your area. Nobody should be afraid to seek help. It's never too late. We can all learn from Samira's story, even though it's sad. It's a strong reminder to look out for signs of abuse and help those who can't assist themselves. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We dive into the most intriguing and shocking crime stories each week, and your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.